This is no rental tux. Was born with this suit of armor. On no karma, slinging in a sauna with snake charmers. They tell me my days warmer. How can I stay calmer? We're all gonna be gone soon. Death at the next corner. I live for my dreams, so it seems I'm indebted more. But do you think angels and having care about credit scores? Six feet under makes me wonder about how I wanna go. Just bury me in love. I'm a product of my goals. I know I'm not usually one to brag, but the feelings I've overcome are the greatest feelings. And hello, hello again. It is your favorite crow here, bringing you another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, man, I feel kind of bad. I haven't been able to upload this in quite a little while. I've been caught up with work and some other stuff that's been taking up my time. I've also been getting in a bit into digital art, thinking of adding some of that to the channel maybe soon, but who knows? Only the future will tell. But um, last time we played Horizon, <clears throat> we saved Ted, Teb, <laughs> from a herd of wild striders. Uh, he fell from a cliffside. Uh, I don't know if he broke anything. He looked like he should have, but I guess he was fine afterwards. So I don't know. Uh, we we proved to Ross. We showed him that the Bluetooth thing we have actually isn't just, you know, some crazy. You know, it wasn't just our imagination, it actually is special. So he got to see a bit of that. We also bumped into that bossed kid again, which we first met when him and the other villagers were picking berries. And he was the one that was kind of staring at us for a little while. I don't know, I couldn't imagine what he was possibly thinking then and there, but I guess it wasn't good because he just, for some reason, he just threw a rock at us. Like, we didn't do anything. We were just walking. I think Aloy was, like, tapping her stick against the ground, just uh, repeating what the what Teb's... I'm guessing Teb's dad said. Seal your lips, boy. <laughs> Seal your lips. <laughs> the way she said it was so funny. But, um, yeah, he just threw a rock at us out of nowhere. So, I guess that kind of pushed Aloy over the edge. She, uh talked to Rost, asked how she could show the villagers that she's not a monster, and he told her about the Proving. So we've been spending the past few years training in the Proving. Look at us, we're all grown up now. Not a kid anymore. We still have the baby bow for some reason, but, <laughs> but we're definitely not babies. So uh, let's get right into this, starting up a new session of Horizon Zero Dawn. And if you look in the top left, our quest says the point of the spear, and the first thing we have to do is find Ross. So, without any further Never ado, when I might need these. let's just get right into this. He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? Good questions. Good questions. I'm guessing it's towards that. Whatever that yellow diamond is. What's he doing up there? Yeah. Okay, okay, and we also learned a heavy attack light attack. He's just and there standing he is. there. What's going on with him? Alright, what's up, Rust? Aloy. You're here. Oh, he looks a bit old. Oh, okay, so yeah, we also had another one of these decision things in the last one when Bass threw the rock at us. Last time we chose the brain which was to throw the rock and hit the other rock out of his hand. But let's see. So we have, is everything okay? Why the hold up? And good thing I know how to track. Um, I feel like something might be wrong, so let's go with that. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. But I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You learned to hunt to survive but I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you would you learn it now of course I'll always learn what you have to teach there has been some trouble recently it affords an opportunity to learn this lesson but it will be dangerous you must come prepared or you will die descend into the embrace and hunt until you've gathered the parts for fire arrows Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the Embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. A 
Is something else bothering you? No, I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast to be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't. There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. Anything else you want me to do while I'm down in the embrace? Uh, Odd Grotta might be out of food by now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. <sighs> Wouldn't mind if she'd say thanks just once. <sighs> Grotta follows the law. Her science towards us is honorable, not an insult. If you say so. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst a visit. Aloy. That man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right. See you at the North Gate. All right. So now we're getting into the quest. I guess we just jumped down here. Oh! Oh no! Oh shit! <laughs> oh, that is so bad. That is so bad. Oh god. Okay, just pretend that it happened, guys. I definitely. All right. Yeah. So now we just got done with the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. If you think something abandoned him, he's wrong. Alright, so talk to Karst and trade for a tripcaster. Trade for a tripcaster. Craft fire arrows. Oh yeah. So basically what I got from that is I think Rost is going insane. Uh he wants us to make fire arrows, so we're obviously gonna go burn down a village. Uh, get revenge before he goes or before we go So yeah, let's just get some Ridgewood so we can burn down this village real quick. No, that's <laughs> That's probably not hopefully not what he's trying to do because that would actually be really messed up There's children and stuff there. Come on, man, but um, oh Yeah, and also I know the audio has been a bit weird in the first three episodes. I'm um, I've been doing a bit of testing and hopefully it's much better now. And so if you can just leave some thumbs up in the comments if the audio's better, if there's anything I still need to fix, just uh also throw that in the comments. I'm just trying to make this as best as possible cuz I did notice when I was editing through some of the last videos that the embrace. No, light the campfire My with the triangle to save. That'll change okay, I noticed that days. in the last video Two there were some parts where I was talking and it sounded Two a bit like mumbling, like even was. I couldn't make out what I was saying I or remember what I said during that time. But um, All right. time to the so now that we got that out of the way, without any further ado, let's get, let's finish crafting these fire arrows, let's, okay, oh we still have our skills here. We should actually do that real quick. But, um, ammo. Okay. Quests. Okay, these are the quests. The notebook. Data points. Yeah, all that. But anyways, let's look at the skills. <coughs> Press R1 to perform silent takedowns on small machines and humans or deal high damage to medium enemies. Time slows while aiming during the jump or slide. Land from a fall or jump is completely silent and will not alert otherwise unaware enemies while aiming toggle r3 toggle with r3 to slow down time chance for a high damage attack on downed enemies i like that light spear attacks have an increased chance to knock off armor and components lure call use from the tools menu to lure a single enemy to your position speeds up healing from the medicine pouch additional natural resources when forwarding okay so we have three skills um, I kind of, should we just start by getting one from each? Let's do that. So, I like Silent Strike, so let's learn that. 
and that leads into strike from above press r1 to silently drop and take down small machines all right that's cool that's cool oh let's see concentration while aiming toggle with r3 to slow down time no no critical hit i like that i remember this one i like that yeah press r1 for high damage on okay yeah yeah i like that and then i also like this knock off armoring components i think we can collect yeah the pieces we collect we can knock them off so that's cool but um oh man oh man all right let's just get right into this We got a pig. So, okay, okay, I clicked to run. Um, oh yeah, yeah, the quest, quest. So, main point of the spear. I wanna track that one. Okay, so that's the hunt for the blaze shards. Let's do that. Oops. That must be the two. Yeah, yeah, because it has the air. Oh, wow. Two more days, and I'll know what it's like in there. It's so many yeah, people crammed into one place. I guess no one ever gets lonely in there. Little pig, little pig. Let me in. Oh man, that is. Oh boy. <laughs> I was not expecting to bump into those guys here. Ooh. Uh. Okay, X is to crouch. It's been a little while. Let's see. Is there a way we can sneak around them? I don't think we could take them all out. Wait, let's do the rock tree. Oh shit, two of them hurt. I only meant to do one, but uh, he's getting close. Can we silent strike? Okay. You didn't see anything. You saw nothing. Nothing. Okay. What is that? White meter. Anyways, did he see us? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Okay. Let me get up. These guys are pretty weak. Alright, wow, that wasn't too hard. But, anyways, let's get back over. Gather blaze from striders. Let's do it. Do it. Alright. Oh man, I forgot to set a timer for this video, so I have no idea how far I am actually into it. But, um,. I'm guessing, I'd say I'm probably, just to be safe, about 20 minutes into it. Yeah, I'd say I'm about 20 minutes in. So, I'll go on for probably 30 more. Ooh, oh no, run! I didn't mean to gather the attention. But, um, <laughs> 